The time has come at last. This new plane should work a lot better. I've ironed out most of the problems. So, here it goes. Emeralds, do your stuff. Ready, Sonic? Here I come. Tornado 2, clear for takeoff. Away we go. Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Adventure Show where I talk about how to play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we tried out Sky Chase Act 1 and got shot down just like in Sonic's Adventure. I'm going to stop comparing everything to Sonic's Adventure because, I don't know, it just gets boring if I keep saying that over and over again. But we got shot down and then we repaired the Tornado 2 prototype. And then now we're off to board the egg carrier. In this episode, we're going to do just that and continue on. Now, while we're waiting through here, I want to tell you this one story that whenever I think about kindergarten, I think about this. It was a bit of an embarrassing memory. And, uh, so basically, back in kindergarten, I was like five or six, like a kindergartner is. And I was just, you know, hanging out and we were having, you know, a time where you could just read books and stuff like that. We had, you know, silent reading time. And I was just reading and I think the, mo the most of this dialogue is the same, so I'll just keep talking. So, I think that I was just hanging out when suddenly, for some reason, the teacher had to just, uh, had to just leave. And so, one of the kids was like, hey guys, look, there's no teacher. And everyone started cheering and clapping. And so my little tiny baby brain just went, huh, maybe that's how I'm supposed to... You know, my brain just wanted attention, I guess, so I was just like, huh, next time the teacher leaves, I'll say that. So later, I forget if it was the same day or, or if it was a different day, the teacher leaves, and I'm just like, hey guys, look, there's no teacher. And just nobody, you know, cheers or claps or anything like that. And it just goes silent. And then, <laughs> the teacher comes back in, and that original kid who said, hey guys, there's no teacher, tells on me for saying that there's no teacher and and like now I'm like what the hell man but back then I was just like why did I do that and I just started crying it's an embarrassing memory but no might as well get it out there <laughs> like I said in a previous video I have so many stories of me just not being that smart of a kid when it comes to like when I was young like when it comes to came to stuff in school like math and stuff like that I was pretty good at that stuff but when it came to everything else 
I I'd say I was worse than most ki most kids. Yeah, now we just have to shoot at the egg carrier. And there we go. Egg carrier down. Well, not down, but, you know. This, you know what? This probably contributed to the egg carrier crash landing. Also, I, I forget if I mentioned this before, but the models, the 3D models used for Sonic and Tails' characters during Sky Chase are, like, remakes of... The classic versions of the characters. Tails, we gotta land on the egg carrier. Oops, we got a problem here. What now? I forgot to put in the landing gear. Wow, this thing is really huge. Now we're aboard the egg carrier again. Get any ideas, Sonic. You have no idea what this vessel can do. How about I give you a little sample? Eggman has a ton of evil laughs in Sonic's. Eggman has a ton of evil laughs in Tails' story. Stage 4 The Sky Deck. <laughs> I don't know why, but that scream is hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, just like all the previous Tails levels, it's a race against Sonic, and you can skip by pretty fast when you've got flight. You can just not do the whole running thing, although that messes up some stuff, so... Okay, can't let Sonic catch up to us. If I ever, in this Let's Play, somehow lose one of these Tails races, I think this is the second to last one. But if I lose one of these Tails races, then I will be embarrassed with myself. Like, it's probably- it might be- one or two of them might be hard to a newcomer, but to me who's played this game, like, more times than I can count, it would be a bit embarrassing. Anyways, we just skip on over here, touch that, and we win! Stop jumping. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Sonic, we should check out the bridge. <laughs> I don't know why all of the noises in this episode are just funny to me. Maybe it's just because I'm tired or... Maybe they just really are funny.
Now we're facing Gamma as Tails, and if I've got to be honest, I think this might be the finale for Tails' story. Because we've just got a level and then a boss fight and then we're over, I'm pretty sure. I wonder what happened to Sonic. <laughs> I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. I can't believe this! Ah, I'll go and deal with this myself! Oh no! I'd better get to that missile before he detonates it! I started hanging with Sonic. But I can't depend on him forever. I know I can do this by myself. Okay, Eggman, bring it on! Stage 5, Speed Highway. Quite a raise in stakes, huh? Now we're facing off against THE Dr. Robotnik, Eggman, and yeah, if you touch him at all, he attacks you. So, not only is he your foe in terms of 
you know, racing, he's also an actual enemy, so you gotta avoid him. Now we just gotta zoom through Speed Highway, or else the entire city just blows up. I love this. This is just the sudden change in stakes of us now having to defuse a missile is just it's just cool and it's on the coolest stage speed highway I also enjoy Tails' sort of character arc in this game about trying to become more independent from Sonic and it's why a lot of people don't enjoy when in uh, when in Sonic Forces Tails cowers in fear when it comes to facing off against an enemy because he's already you know he already went through this character arc like 20 something years ago also I'm glad that I didn't die there got all the way up here and we don't have a helicopter to to fly with we just gotta fly on our own run through the checkpoint and you wanna I don't even think I've mentioned these sort of dash rings I guess is what they're called I forget exactly what they are but you want to use those to your advantage and I was gonna say just try to keep a good distance from Eggman but I think that's your goal already I don't know why I say things that are so obvious and you know not needed to be said Now we got these big platforms, we want to take the rocket up. And? No, 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 no. Ah, dang it, we were so close. Uh, if I had done that without dying, I would have been proud. But yeah, if you die, your punishment is Eggman gets much closer to you. And since we're right up against the missile, this is going to be extremely tense and close. And I hope I can pull this off. And on the last platform, and we win! So thankfully, the missile is defused. And now it's time to head on to the final boss fight. Tails' final boss fight, the Egg Walker. I've already stated before how much I love how Eggman is so menacing in Tails' story. And I love this final boss, and I also love the cutscene that plays right before that, where we see all the people like cowering in fear, and Tails standing up for himself, and... Eggman being really, like, evil sounding for that one mincemeat line. And don't get me wrong, I love Mike Pollock's interpretation of the character. I say that as if he's writing for it. I love when Mike Pollock voices Eggman, but I just think that Adventure 1 and 2 Eggman is also really, really good. Anyways, final hit already here so quickly. Sometimes this can be a bit tough because you have to hit two of his or three of his feet, sorry. And then wait. Okay, there we go. If I had messed that up, even though he was just right there and easy for the taking, I would have been thoroughly embarrassed. But yeah, that's Tails' story.
That's kind of weird how the music cuts off right as it's about to, you know, get to the chorus and then starts over for the credits. Bit of a nitpick there, but yeah, Tales of Short Shory Story was short but sweet, and I enjoyed all of it, you know. I loved the racing, and I honestly would have had a lot of fun if there was you know, more levels, but I guess that wouldn't really make sense because, you know, there aren't that many levels where Sonic and Tails are together. But, you know, having Tails go off and while Sonic's doing the Twinkle Park stuff, you know, having Tails do a bunch of other stuff would make a lot of sense since, you know, in terms of between Sky Chase Act 1 and 2, Sonic does so much stuff he crash lands, talks to Amy, goes to Twinkle Park, goes to Speed Highway, then goes over to Red Mountain, and then meets up with Tails, whereas Tails just gets the Chaos Emerald and then flies away. So, I would have loved a lot more of this, but maybe it would have gotten old to me after a little bit, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise that Tails' story was short. Anyways, I'll let you guys listen to the music. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode for Knuckles' story.